The suspect, Kenneth Montgomery, admitted to detectives during an interview that he had gone to the parking lot in search of two cars that he believed had been involved in earlier criminal activity, according to the police report. He then unloaded his gun, firing all the bullets he had in it as he approached the cars. Raising awareness for domestic violence is a local shelter. Lindsay Regis joins U.S. Live at the Maryvale Community Service Center with more on this following three separate fatal cases of domestic violence incidents in the past week extends. Lindsay this is a tough time of year to begin with. Then it's really volatile if they have relationship problems or addictions. You're correct. John. Anyone who has experienced domestic violence is welcome to visit this location to receive the assistance they require. I then spoke with the program director to learn more about the survivor's experience with that process. A shelter that supports domestic violence is the shelter. Rescuers say the risk of domestic violence is high this time of year. A lot of people in the domestic menace situation may be isolated from other string this time to Cindy Garcia. Program Director of DECA Lorises. Raise awareness for domestic violence after hearing about three deadly domestic violence cases within the past seven days. It's horrible. You want to feel safe in your own home with your husband and your partner. We don't want this to happen to families for the it's happened to women to children. A family of five was discovered dead in their North Phoenix home last week. And police said the husband died from a gunshot wound he inflicted on himself. The suspect over the weekend was a father who shot his two children before taking his own life. Shot wound. The most dangerous time for any victim of domestic violence is when they decide to leave because that's when their abuser is their spouse. Their husband. Or their husband. And on Monday. A child called the Pinal County Sheriff's Office to report that a husband had shot his wife to death. Domestic violence is surrounded by power and control over another person when they lose control over that person at that point. Garcia is encouraging anyone who is in a domestic violence situation to seek help immediately. I know it's a very scary time to leave. But sometimes abusers can be extreme. And it can. It may seem that they are not capable of killing us as your family. U.M. But you just never know. And so. Um it's best to not stay and find out. This shelter has a 24-7 domestic violence hotline number that's at the bottom of your screen. It is 6026269.